Dan, thank you. Antonio Tessitore would be the first to tell you he was a menace to society. He ran the streets of Spokane with his gang and was well known by law enforcement. His path of destruction wasn't going to end well unless he found another outlet. In tonight's Keeping Vigil, we put the spotlight on the Howard Street Boxing Club, a club that turns boys into men. He was kind of a street thug, little cocky kid. Ray Kerwick met Antonio Tessitore at a critical point in this 25-year-old's life. He knew how to fight, he didn't know how to box. Fighting came easy for Antonio. Fighting his demons was his biggest battle. I was running around, terrorizing the city, being a hoodlum, you know, doing drugs, drug dealing, you know, not giving a, a care in the world about who I was hurting, if I was hurting myself, you know. All life was about was um, partying and the next, chasing the next high and the next dollar. Until Antonio OD'd. I overdosed and I passed away for a little bit. The, the hospital resuscitated me in the, in the ambulance. That moment was a catalyst for change, and that's where Ray and the Howard Street Boxing Club step in. He's learned to respect other people. Uh, we've taught him simple things like how to tip waitresses and, and uh, life skills yeah how to how to get along with with opponents as well as teammates uh, he's done he's done a real good job transitioning Ray's coached well over 100 kids since 1990 never once has he taken a dime for his time in this sport you really have to be a, a mentor and a, a surrogate parent, a counselor at times. Sometimes you have to treat these guys with kid gloves. Sometimes you, you're on them. I like helping these kids. I like, especially the ones that are disadvantaged, I like to see them grow as people and, and develop their life skills. Ray sees a future in boxing for Antonio, but he also sees a life beyond the ring. I'd like to see him uh, be a police officer or, or uh, own a business or something like that because something like this is going to give him the confidence to, to take a step like that. Antonio has nothing but respect for his coaches. They have taught me morals. They've taught me uh, how to uh, cope with the, the world, you know, as an adult. I love them, man. I love them to death, you know. Um, uh, I wouldn't be here without them. His drive is strong because he has three young girls that need him. I'm going up from here, you know, and I'm going to be a good role model to my daughters, and they're going to, you know, be proud to call me their dad. Four years clean and sober and ranked number two in Washington State Golden Gloves, Antonio's trophy case is filling up. At this point, nothing is going to stop this welterweight from making it to the top. Drugs try to stop me. The devil try to stop me. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Only up, Antonio. We wish you nothing but the best. If you'd like a story you'd like to share with me on Keeping Vigil, you can message me on my Facebook page, Stephanie Vigil. We'll take a break and be right back.